Hey guys, Jarrett here with a Gameovation video. With Sora being added to Smash Bros back in 2021 and Super Smash Bros Ultimate selling 30 million units, that's right, 3 zero million units sold worldwide, it begs the question, will we see a Super Smash Bros 6? Well yes, obviously we will. If it makes money, it makes sense, and Nintendo are 100% going to make another instalment for the Super Smash Bros. series. As much as people would like to say, how are you going to improve on Ultimate? It quite literally is the Ultimate Edition of Smash Bros. You've got every single character, all the stages, all the music, all the items. What more could you possibly want? Well that's why in today's video I'm going to be running through the potential drastic changes and even potential restrictions the next instalment of Smash Bros is going to have within it which is going to make it its own unique experience. And if you are new here, then be sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out more than you can imagine, and it makes me feel pretty good as well. So what do I mean by restrictions? Well, Masahiro Sakurai has stated that if he were to be the director for Smash Bros. 6, which let's be honest, he probably almost definitely will be, then he will not be looking to have as many characters in it, meaning he will probably strip it down back to its basics, or maybe not all the way back to its basics, but it definitely will not have about 80 plus characters in. Which I understand that people's knee-jerk reaction to that is going to be, what? Why would we have less characters? We're going to be getting less of a game. Well, actually, I think that's a very smart play as Let's be honest, we've got a lot of characters in Smash Bros Ultimate, and, in, and if every single installment of Super Smash Bros is going to add on to that, then we're going to end up with a game with like 200 characters, which is just going to be ridiculous to e even play and even make. It will take them years upon years to even make a new Smash Bros game. So what I think they're going to do, or what I suggest they do, is that I think they should cut the roster approximately in half, so we've got about 40 to 45 characters in the base game, and completely revamp it. I mean completely change each character's movesets, like, the character's movesets, we have all the original characters, have had the exact same move pool as they've had in pretty much all the games. Obviously there's been a few tweaks here and there, but in general, it's been quite similar. Like with Mario, you could install a brand new moveset with Cappy. With Link, you could have a moveset that is way more geared towards um, Breath of the Wild. Kirby could have a moveset that's going to be a little bit more to do with the Forgotten Lands. Samus could have a brand new moveset geared towards uh, Metroid Dread. The possibilities really are endless here. Some could say Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's gimmick was having so many characters, it was all about everyone is here, whilst I think Super Smash Bros. 6 could be more geared towards revamping everyone. I think out of all the Smash Bros. games, 6 could be the most different to all the rest, it would feel like a brand new game almost. Characters who we've known in the Smash Bros games for years would have completely different movesets, would move differently, would just be completely revamped and updated. By no means am I saying there was no quality in Ultimate, but I feel as if in this new installment for Smash Bros they'll really aim for quality rather than quantity. Now in terms of characters, I think we'll be stripped back down to about 40 to 45 base game characters with some DLC characters in. Who will those characters be? Well, that's a whole new video for another day. However, one thing that I'm sure they will take from Ultimate Success is how well the DLC done. The hype surrounding each DLC character was insane, and it's definitely something Nintendo are going to look to replicate in future installments for Smash Bros. So I think they're definitely going to mimic the same exercise and routine they did with the DLC characters from Ultimate, but obviously brand new characters, potentially a few more as well. But who will these DLC characters be? Well, once again, that's a video for another day. 
Stage wise, I think we'll hopefully be getting a lot of brand new stages as well. Like I said, I really think the next installment for Smash Bros is going to feel the most different from any other Smash Bros game. It's going to have completely different and brand new things. It's not going to be trying to tap into the nostalgia like uh, the Ultimates did. It's just going to be its own brand new thing, brand new moves, brand new characters, brand new stages. Everything about this is going to be new. But what do you guys think of my predictions? Do you agree with any of my thoughts or do you perhaps disagree with any of them? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe for all things Nintendo.